So ladies and gentlemen, this is a catch weight bout in the amateur division of 73 kilograms. Please welcome our fighter in the blue corner, representing Frax's team, and Lucio Sergio BJJ, Rafael the Nightmare, Miguel! And his opponent in the red corner with a record of 2 and 0, oh, representing Team Hammer, Kyle Jones! And your referee in charge, Jason Furness. So we are back. This is an amateur catchweight contest at 73 kilograms. Rafael the Nightmare Mikhail takes on Kyle Jones. Kyle Jones in the red corner. Mikhail in the blue. So I, I actually i have had a lot of run-ins with Rafael. He's called out a few of the fighters from our gym, but he's he's somebody who follows my career and you know always sends me encouraging messages. And uh, he's very young actually. I'm sure he's 17 years of age. Wow. And look at look at him as a specimen. Yeah, he's very young. Um, and you know, I, it'd be interesting to see exactly where he's up to in, in his career, in, in his fight career now. So let's see how he does. Oh, it's great having you, K Musa, here on Comms with us. Thank you very much, and it's great to be here with you, Brian. <laughs> very Oof. excited indeed, and just athletically, what a specimen Raphael is. But the experience on the side of Carl Jones and experience is, is not tangible, but it's real, right? Yeah, of course it is. You know, experience gives you that relaxation. It gives you, and relaxation in this sport is so important. But look at Raphael. Look at him. There you go. Wow. He, he's comfortable. He's strong. Strong, and he is actually, I think he's a blue belt in jiu-jitsu as well. So it'd be interesting to see exactly what he does with, with this fight and where he takes it to. He's taking it right against the cage here. Good entry on that one. Kyle, so doing the, is he doing the right things to stop this uh, this attempt here from uh, Raphael? Yeah, I feel, I feel like he is, but he needs to watch his hips there. He, need, he needs to keep his hips and that wizard, that wizard that he's got, there you go. Look, the hips have... Let him down there and there. Look, nice and controlled and calm from Rafael. This is, this is. Um, oh, he, he made a bit of a mistake. Oh, he's gone for the arm. There you go. That's his, that's his grappling that. skills there. Yeah, and you said Rafael is actually just 18 now. Oh, is it just and look 18? At that. There you wow. go. Wow, look at that. The transitions here, like you talked about, is Blue Belt and BJJ all on display here right now. And this is what I'm saying to you, you know, look, and there's his strength, his, his athleticism, look how athletic he is, and he's been able to get, he's on his back now, but let's see if he can transition and get a submission off his back, so let's see. And this is a young man as well who's made the trip from Portugal, now lives over here, been here since 2015. Oh, and look at the, the strength of Carl Jones, though, staying composed. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's composed on top. Um, and he's, 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 he's got his hands in a good position. His, right, his, his left hand he could do with getting more centralised with his hands now and getting a good position to posture. But as you can see, Rafael looks very strong and he's holding down. Um, let's see what he can do with it from here. And we've got Aaron Chalmers on the comms as well. Sorry, I was miles away. I was too busy engrossed in the fight. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have the Joker on board with us as well. There you go, he's throwing some shots. Oh. And, and, as you can I see, is, Rafael looks quality on the, off his back, mate. So really does. Transitioning yeah. before. He, just, he had the, sorry, he had a hold of this kid's wrist with one hand, and he picked him up. He picked him up with it, and, that, and that's 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 testament to his strength as well. And, and Kyle Jones is no joke. He comes from an Olympic weightlifting background as well. That he got, he? Well, he uh, did that competitively, and uh, and then moved into MMA. So a deceptive figure on him, but that just really goes to show that the power of Mikhail if he uh, was able to do that with. Kyle Jones. Yeah. Um, so you can see now in. Um, I don't know. Let's let's just take this assessment on Raphael's position. What he's taken here. Obviously, there's no stools, but I don't know if he's if he's if he's gassed a little bit. It, it, let, let, let's see. We'll see how it, how, how the round goes into the next round. Now. He looks a little bit tired. Yeah, he does he a little, little bit tired. tired there. They do say with a frame like that, the muscle burns oxygen very very yeah. quickly, and he has a very aggressive style. Whether he's on top standing. Uh, so maybe not an efficient style, but these are the lessons he'll learn. And now it's all about recovery, right? That's when that conditioning, those horrible moments in the gym where you have to dig deep. This is where we're going to see it pay off. And hopefully now you can see, uh, you know, his corner team are talking to Rafael. You can see he's, um, 
he, he looks like he's ready to go. He's packed with this muscle, which is a, explosive. But the recovery uh, and how long you can sustain the explosion is, is always the issue with explosive fighters. So let's see how he, how he bounces here now. So round two set to get underway. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Carl Jones in the red corner. The grey camo shorts taking on Rafael Mikhail in the blue corner. Nice low kick there. Carl, ba Carl bouncing now. He looks like he's getting a little bit comfortable. He's felt he's felt a bit of what Rafa Rafael's got to offer, and his relaxation shows that you know he's he's comfort he's comfortable in there. So let's see where he takes it from here. I feel like Rafael's just slowed the pace down a bit. Yeah, like he's, he looks a little he looks a little bit tired here. Well, he, he, he can be catching a breather there as well. He could be catching a breather, and um, also now he's he's becoming very heavy on that front foot, so he needs to watch out what he's doing. But there you go, he's throwing low kicks. Yeah. It, it's it's been a low yeah, blow. He's, yeah, he's a bit tired there. And this is interesting. Uh, Carl Jones will get five minutes should he want to take it, but you c you can see there's definitely been a slowing pace in Rafael. It's almost. Do you want to give up some of your recovery so you don't let him recover as much? Well, if you know if, he, if if that shot wasn't bad, you would just come straight back out. It all yeah. depends how tired he, he is himself. Of do you know course, what I mean? yeah. But you can see by Rafael's demeanor. Well, he's, he's keep bending on his knees and stuff. Any yeah. chance he gets? Yeah. Now, this is where. But his relaxation looks very calm and very composed. So I don't feel like he's burning unnecessary energy. It's just interesting to see how, how, what tactics he he, he goes with from here now. Yeah, he's livened up a little bit there. And he's swinging. We've got one minute, 40 seconds left in this second round. And Southpaw versus Orthodox. What, what are the shots you're looking for? Uh, what really opens himself or invites them in these, these sort of opposing stances? Well, you know, you've got if, if all he's mixed it, he's gone through it. From a Southpaw, from if you're fighting a Southpaw, you know, you need to, and you're Orthodox, you need to be getting that lead leg on the outside, trying to, you know, slip his jab and send your send your right hand through, and you need to be moving off to the left to move away from his power. So. Um, and obviously, if you're the southpaw, you know you've got that reverse back kick, which is powerful. Yeah, inside leg, inside leg, tip to the body. The tip to the body from a southpaw is awful. It's yeah. horrible. <laughs> I see you wincing there. Yeah. I can't wince with the same sort. I of just remember, I remember Leon know. Edwards catching us with one, and it just knocked the win out of us. I think a, a, a Fabian Edwards high five would probably knock it out of me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's the sort of style that he's. Uh, is bringing but this is interesting Rafael Miguel really working on this takedown here Kyle Jones doing doing a lot but this is again going to work on both their gas tanks this is really going it's not an, just even though you've got the initial position the engaging position of trying to take down that's hard work you've really got to be careful how much energy you burn of course and I feel like you know I, I, me me being this is one of my my ways I win my fights I, I like to push my opponents against the cage the only issue is with Rafael now is that he's got his head down there now in that position he needs to actually do something with it as you know he's, he's burning energy staying there and he needs to pull the leg off now so he's got that single he needs to pull it off he needs to pull it off and, and potentially shoot in again for the double in some respects would you almost advise stepping back to step back in again step back off and and control control your opponent put something in his face and shoot back in for a double something else you can do that's a nice knee up the middle oh, of the car, Jones, but these are big shots kyle jones staying busy nice. he needs to go now he needs to go now he needs to pull that back leg he needs to pull that he can pull that back leg and um, and pull him down to the mat and now look, he, he has now lost position in that position. Oh, there you wow. go. Oh wow! And it's Carl Jones that actually right at the end of the round gets that takedown. Close fight between these two, Aaron. It's tired. Look, he's, he's, he's struggling yeah. to even get off the floor there. Yeah, this is a close match. Now this comes now. You know, it comes down to will. It comes yeah. down to conditioning, and it comes down to focus. And it also comes down to the message that his corner team, well, both corner teams are going to give their fighters. Um, if I was if I was in Raphael's uh, corner, I'd be saying to him now, listen shot variation and holding him against the fence you can see he's got the strength to do that but he needs to be working when he's in that position Carl jo uh, Jones gal I'll be saying to him what you need to be doing is taking him down he's got the ability to take Raphael down so it's interesting to see what happens from here but Raphael sat down he looks really tired uh, and body language Aaron if you're on the other side and you see this across the cage somebody slumped to the floor and being fanned down, is, is that giving you your third, fourth win? Is that going to boost you? Well, especially because I think I, th I feel like he's down on the rounds. So I would come out this round starting hard, put it on him because he's just sat down the whole corner there. So come out hard, just come out hard for the first 30 seconds yeah. and, and see how he deals with so that. Let's see how he deals with it. But don't let him settle in and put it at his pace because he's going he's gonna to make the fight slow because he's winning. So we are set for this third round here at Euro Fight Nights here at the Victoria Warehouse in Manchester. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Kay Musa and Aaron Chalmers calling the action on this one. And they touch gloves. 
And it really is about who engages the momentum or even, who even get top position in this top one. Top position. Oh. Like I said now, you see Rafael, he needs to he needs to be putting something out. He's not he's not putting any threats out in his opponent's face. And he's not giving his opponent anything to really think about. You can see it looks he's like he's, he's recovering a bit. His head's just on the set on not even like off the centre line, it's just staying still and and like, you know, it's easy for us to call it. It's a hot <laughs> grappling like that it takes its toll on you. Oh, totally. It takes its toll on you. Do you know what I mean? Of course it does. So it's it's all good. Well, it's all well and good saying, yeah, he's tired, but I'm sure I would be as well. <laughs> of course, this is the sport, and this is where conditioning comes into it, and this is where. But this is what you train for in the gym, exactly. isn't it? Ken? Exactly. And what was nice to see there's some good sportsmanship. The shin pad there of Kyle Jones came loose, and uh, Raphael stepped back and allowed them to to adjust that. So what, we've got two minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. Now somebody needs to really, you know, it's a pretty even fight. Someone needs to now make their statement on the fight and, and let the judges know that they're, they're here to win. Ooh, Ooh. Raphael. Yes. Yeah, he, he, he forced that. He forced, he forced, he went for the takedown, you could see, but it was a forced takedown. He probably wouldn't have got it. And that shows a little bit of fatigue, a little bit of mental fatigue, and he's panicking slightly a little bit. But it's understandable in... You know, he's fighting an experienced opponent. Yeah, in his debut as well. And Kyle Jones, you talk about experience. We mentioned his weightlifting uh, uh, background. Also had trials for Wales at football, so a high-level athlete himself. Exactly, and you can say you can see in his legs, his thick, his thick set. That's definitely come from his lifting. So he's going to have a strong base. So we set off once again. Again, a small ma wardrobe malfunction on the shin pad there of Kyle Jones, but. Jay Furness, our referee in charge, deals with that, gets it moving once again. I feel like Rafael, he, he definitely needs Ooh. to, look, these, the, the, you know, these kicks, it's, that's a waste of time. He needs to close the distance. Now, this is where he needs to keep the fight in my eyes now. He needs to push the fight up against the fence uh, or he needs to start working from these positions now because, what, they've got a minute and 40. And like I said to you before, if Carl can get the fight to the floor now, he, yeah, he's, fe he's felt what Rafael, yeah, there you go. Wow. I and think he feels comfortable there. A little bit of that Olympic weightlifting on show there. Nice takedown. And this is big. 1 minute 25 seconds left. As you said, this is a very good position. Would you look to hold that, Aaron, or, uh, or work from it? You know, just looking here, I would start, I would, I would try and post up and drop some ground and pound. Yep. He just looks like he's just going to curl up here if he starts dropping some heavy hands. Yeah, I feel like I feel like with Rafael now, this is the time. You've got a minute left. You need to be exploding now. This yeah. is where you need to be letting the judge people know that you're here. You need to let your opponent know that you, you're not willing to lie down. And he's going for it. Yeah, he is. He's going for it, but now he needs to come out round the back. He needs to try and grab for a single and regain position there you go and look at that grip again that's become so common now controlling that far arm with your other one yeah from 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 carl that's a good control there you go now he's gone there for the going, that's better. But he, he's there he's, he's lost the position so just 35 seconds left now this has been i mean the has adjective was throwing there? this grueling i think he's got yeah i think he has uh, got uh, yeah, he's virtually got form out there nah it's gonna be he's, Oh, he's, he flattens him out, Jack. Come out the over. back door now. Now, now the hook's in. It's going to be a lot harder for him to come out the back door. Ref's this is stop where he's this got 20 seconds now. Nah, he's just doing enough to. Sh nah, he's going to stop this. Oh, and now he's just nah, coming out. If. Jay Furness has seen enough with just 11 seconds. Look what that means to Kyle Jones. Exactly. Well, there you go. Kyle's he, he's demonstrated that you know he was able to weather the storm from Raphael. And like we said in the beginning, we raised um, concern about his Raphael's conditioning, and you can see that conditioning played a major factor in him not being able to. One hundred percent, a very, very impressive performance there. And there's lots to take as well away from Raphael. Athletically, he's blessed. You talked about his uh, his grappling. It's just fixing those little bits, which is exactly what the amateur game is for, right? And look, it's the amateur game. This is exactly what you need to be doing. You need to be learning these lessons. You need to have a... This is where it's good for, I believe, fighters, especially as amateurs, they need a good coach team because they need to sit down, watch this tape, and they need to iron out the issues that, that, that arose. And, and he's got a lot of potential moving forward. And that is a great performance there from Carl Jones. So we'll make this official get his hand raised in that cage.
overall, the Jake's gonna win. I think um, Jake. Uh, Jake. So, ladies and gentlemen, the referee calls a stop to this fight at 2 minutes 51 seconds of round number three. Your winner by way of ground and pound in the red corner, Kyle Jones!